Hi everyone. Today I'd like to talk to you about how useful functions are within Power Query and Power BI. And the way I'm going to do that is by looking at a finance lease or indeed a set of finance leases. So as we know, um, a finance lease uh, when you make each payment of a finance lease, here I'm just looking at maybe the boss's car, um, the first set of payments that you make carry um, less, capital, uh, less capital repayments and then towards the end you make more capital repayments. Um, and that's demonstrated on this repayment schedule here where right at the start we pay £1,333 a month but in the first month uh, of the life of this um, we're paying £232 of interest in the first month, but by the end, when we make the very last payment, we only pay £5.54. So, so and, and there is this sort of mathematical calculation, if you like, that the very first payment um, carries more interest weight than the very last payment. And so the way in which I've approached this is by using a function. So if I jump across into um, the query that we have here and I jump all the way up to the top, in fact the very first thing I'm going to do is to show you this, uh, this lease calculator and what this lease calculator does um, is it, um, it runs through a series of parameters and makes the calculations that, that I was just mentioning. Um, so, so what we've got is a series of parameters here. So we have three. The the number of instalments is three. Each instalment is a hundred pounds. The total amount of interest that we're going to pay off is fifty pounds, and the start date for this is thirty first December two thousand sixteen. So if I run up to the top um, and start off. Um, what we're doing here is we're saying we're creating a list which is one dot dot installments and what that does is it effectively it's one dot dot three um, and that essentially gives us a list of one two three um, so and the installments is the parameter that we've got here so if I sort of demonstrate make a change to that make a four and then go back to the least calculate oh, least um, calculator and run right up to the top of that we can see four installments there second step is this is just normal power que uh, power um, query at this point convert it to a table a little bit of column renaming um, I've inserted this says insert literal but what it's actually doing is um, it's using the start date that I have put in as a parameter here so if I put 31st of and let's just say oh, um, 31st of May and and move on to the lease calculator and then run right up to the top again then we can see that that start date has changed and it becomes relevant later on um, so uh, then we add a custom field and what this is doing is it's um, it's adding a number of months to the start date. So here we have our start date and it's uh, date add months and it's the number of, uh, in fact it's this field here. So we're going to add one month here, two months here, three, four and so on and so on. Uh, there's a little bit of um, change type going on, moves on to um, indicating the value of each instalment which is this uh, figure here. Uh, in fact I won't jump back onto there. Um, so each instalment is £100, uh, move on to there, each uh, instalment is £100, a uh, little bit of change type going on there, we're going to add the total number of instalments which becomes relevant later on, uh, another change type, added the, um, the total interest due which is just use of the parameter again, so total interest due equals each total interest and essentially it just plonks in this piece here uh, and the next step is that we work out the weight 
of each interest uh, each payment which um it looks uh, it's a bit mad looking here but essentially um if you um it, i guess it's quite easy to read that the the first payment has got a weighting of four the second payment has got a weighting of three two one um and so on so and and this is the um this is the way that you actually that you get to that and it's all well and good knowing what the interest weighting is but we actually need to know what the total weight of all of them are so that's four plus three plus two plus one and there is a formula that effectively does that it's n times n plus one um all divided by two uh, and it works it out so if we look in this column here four plus three plus two plus one equals ten so that means that 40 percent will go in the first month 30 percent in the uh, of the total interest in this um second month and so on uh and then if we go on to the not sure why yeah cumulative interest weight this is the total um interest for this payment so essentially it's um it is a uh, what i just mentioned there it's uh, uh it's the total interest due times by the uh, interest weighting divided by the cumulative interest um weight so essentially i think i said 40% there um that's that's correct actually it's um so we are going to have out of the total interest of 50 um 40% which is 20 and so on and so on and so on um i think did i round off i'm not even sure why i would have rounded it off but um uh, and then we are able to work out that out of the hundred pounds of capital paid uh, of, that was paid, eighty pounds was capital. And then moving on to, uh, and then we do a little bit of unpivoting at the end, which essentially means that we can. Uh, it's easier to visualise it in this format. So um, the first payment um, is a split of twenty eighty interest. Um, to capital and so on and so on and so on so what this is is uh, it is a function um, and this demonstrates how that function works um, but and then we make use of that function um, when we make our um, calculations so this is really just how is just a way of seeing if that if that if that works for you and if you if you want to make changes to it you're effectively changing the function so what I'm going to do is show you how I've used the function. So if I move up to the top, um, what we can see here, these are my demonstration. Um, uh, these are these are my uh, parameters that I'm going to plug into this function. So we have a pool car um, that I've called it a pool car. And um, it's got 36 payments. It's got interest of 980 pounds capital. And we've got a start date. So what's going to happen here? Is first of all we have a, a source, uh, and I quite like this way of um, making use of it for demo purposes because it means the PBIX file is completely self-sufficient. You don't need to link to anything. You just you just add the data in and, and on you go, uh, and you do that by hitting its enter data um, here. That's that's how you create a query which um, starts off with um, with no data. I'll just pop one in there. Um, yeah, there you are. One, two, three, and if you press, it's going to be called table one down the button. Test. Uh, if I go OK on that, we will create ourselves probably under the other queries piece um, a table called test. Fabulous. And that's how I started off with this. So I'm going to delete that. Um, so going back to the leases, so I started life with um, with this data, uh, a bit of renaming going on there, change type. Um, then there's a an addition here, which is the uh, the total amount payable, um, and this is the excuse me, this is each instalment. Uh, yeah, so it's just um, a division of. Um, the total due divided by the number of payments is the value for each instalment and then we um, we invoke this function so if I just show you here what we've done is we've invoked a function and what we've done is we've pushed in um, various bits and pieces into that function so 
In fact, if I just see if I can sort of demonstrate how that would be done on the fly. Um, so I'll do um, add column, invoke custom function, insert, function query, new column name, I'll call it custom uh, lease calcs. And essentially, this is you pushing in um, your parameters into there. So um, installments, um, I think it's this installment amount is a column name and it's each installment yeah I've obviously got this wrong so this I think is possibly the number of installments um, uh, number of payments okay and then the total interest is a column name and where is it total interest there and the start date is column name and it's the well believe it or not it'll be the start date so, uh, and then OK. So I'm I'm going to delete this. Um, but that just shows you all you need to do to get to that point. And it, it is the only one of the few tricky pieces in here. I'm going to delete that. I'll wait for it to have a little think. So what you then do is you then hit the expand button here. And when you expand it, <laughs> it actually runs the entire function. So what we've got here is we've got our, you know our pool car we expect to see 36 lines for the pool car um i hope that's 36 lines um so yeah pool car pool car pool car pool car oh of course we're going to end up with 72 because um we have a line for the um we have a line for the capital and a line for the interest as a relief and so we and and then similarly on the sales exec card uh, car we'd have um, 96 payments and so on and so on and so on so what we've done is using that function we've um, been able to um, we've been able to do all these co fairly complex calculations um, and you know we've you know it's it's relatively straightforward to do it um so what's this added custom one yeah i've added i've put an evaluation point in there because what i wanted to do was to um indicate the number of days you know the, the days difference between the whatever payment it was and where we are now um that's my days difference because i i had an eye on um yeah number of months difference because i was thinking about um what it would be like to as an accountant to be you know looking at you know, the uh, disclosures side of things so if i go to close and apply and um, it'll zap it all or not as the case may be as i've not changed anything uh, and if you move on to the data uh, tab and we i think we've got a not a wildly complex model by any stretch of the imagination so I think it's be a model of one table um, with all the columns that we've seen ah years difference in fact what I did do was once I'd landed it I had my months difference already and you can always see that because you there's no formula in there but with the years difference uh, you can see um, it I just did a roundup function so very simply um, not quite sure what it did uh, on the on the negatives yeah I've got negatives in there so that's fine um, so uh, and then from a visualization point of view I've created a number of visualizations to split things out as the cost um, as the case may be so this was me splitting it out so I've got um, a visualization which probably has a filter on it I would have thought um, yeah where the attribute is capital uh, this is the same um, visualization where we're only looking at interest and what it's actually doing is it is looking at um, uh, the year relative to the 31st of um, March 2017 um, where that payment sits and so in fact it's um, it's actually in the second year that this um, that this um, starts life and so that's why it's in in year two um, quite often um, lease disclosures um, require you to express the payments um, in less than 12 months two to five years and um, five years plus 
uh, and similarly they have to you have to do similar things on um, interest payable and so on and of course all of this is you know you can hit the filters and you know it'll do all the whizzy stuff um, in that way we're only looking at the boss's car at the moment we could be looking at all the cars fantastic um, and if we move on to the table itself we just click any of the fields we can see we've got 372 rows um, and as um, I guess for my, my own amusement um, what I've done is I am going to throw a lot more data at this so we we've currently got um, a chunk of data now I think there are limits to, to, to how big you can make these tables um, but I have got a bit of a here's one I prepared earlier um, so get down get down to the bottom and copy that and move back into my pbix and um, I am hopefully just going to be able to paste these in and let's hope yeah these don't these don't look like look like they're going to break anything um, and then press OK on that. So this this should this should sweat it. If we're lucky and I press OK, it won't um, throw a wobbler. Um, now we're really going to um, this is going to really sweat um, the exercise because effectively we're going to end up with um, the sum of these um, multiplied by two in lines um, in the data set that we produce. So um, Go on Power Query, go for it. So, off it goes. And I have no idea how many right, uh, lines we're going to get. So I'm going to jump in here while that's on the go. And so we're expecting to have 3284. So we're going to be 6,600 um, lines-ish um, on there. So let's how it's, see how it's done. Obviously, I can't add, but um, okay. So there, it's done it. So that was amazingly quick. And if you were to do that, um, to be perfectly honest, any other way, it would take absolutely forever. And what we can see here is all of these spurious vehicles that I've created um, uh, showing up here. There is no concept of 1.5, so um, they all start at the same time as it happens, but they've got different lengths. So this is quite, you know, kind of fun in a kind of saddish sort of way, really. Um, I just randomised the um, the data, so yeah, so we've got up to six years here. So who's who's in six years? Because there weren't many of those. Um, difficult to tell because I haven't really created a visualisation to to um, to make that easier to see. But I guess if I yeah, um, I guess that it it sort of proves the point. Um, I am just going to try for my own benefit of working out. Ah, it's a contract, isn't it? So contract, 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 uh, and I'm just going to. Oh, it does have contract there. So um, I'm not sure where that's disappeared to. I'm going to go down to the bottom level. Nope. Ah, drill on column. Let's see what happens here. There you are. A79. So, good old A79. Where are you? A79 is a six-year contract. And we can see that in the sixth year of that contract, um, in fact, I was just looking at capital there. Um, yeah, obviously I could put another filter in here for the for the year and, and so on. Um, but you can actually see that in that sixth year, um, the June, uh, you can see all the payments that were made in that period. Um, uh, that's all the capital. That's the amount that was paid each month. And it's split between um, capital and interest. So... Um, I hope you found this useful. Uh, please like it um, if you if you do. Um, I will be pro uh, providing a link to the file itself down below. Uh, so you know, dig in, enjoy it. Um, you know, work hard on your M code, um, and I thoroughly recommend the M is for Data Monkey book because it's uh, an excellent resource for getting better at this sort of thing.
Okay, thanks everyone, and see you next time. Bye.